guys and welcome to the chroma side of YouTube so today I'm doing an experiment <laughs> um, I thought what would it look like and how cool would it be to flood my canvas with pure mother of pearl structure gel instead of paint um, it's very transparent it shines mother of pearl and what I did was I mixed it really, really well with Floetrol. And I don't know if I added water to this yet. Let's just see. No, I have not added water to this yet. So, water. Let's go, go ahead and do that while I'm talking. So, I'm going to, my idea here is to flood my canvas with the structure gel and have this mother of pearl background and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Bray Reese um, heavy body acrylics to do a ring pour now you are gonna see me flooding and painting and using my um, strainer while I do it just simply because I'm running late and um, I'm running late today. I had a, a huge boo-boo with, uh, while mixing, I spilled my mixing bowl, my water. And OMG, Becky, let me tell you, it took me forever to clean it all up. I had to move all of my paint things. It was awful. Anyway, so I'm just going to be flooding that canvas with the structure gel I really do hope that this looks cool Um, I'm gonna go wash my hands because I noticed that some of the green is coming off into the structure gel. Let me be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So, clean your hands. <laughs> um, I know, I know, if I would wear gloves, it would probably be easier on me, but I don't know, there's just something about playing in paint. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna um, shift this canvas make sure it's all covered evenly making sure that my sides are covered making sure my corners are covered Kind of like the design it made in the Mother of Pearl. You make sure you guys are still in frame. Now, I see some spots where I got that green, so I am going to try and remove it. All right, well, now I am going to, I'm gonna try something different than what I've done. Um, I'm actually gonna use this little, this little guy here just to pop out those bubbles and see how that works. Cause I don't want anything super um, forceful. And it seems to be working just fine to pop those bubbles out. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, and I dropped it. Oh well. All right, so let's get my cup. I probably should have done this before I flooded the canvas. Can you see the cup? Yes. Well, I'll move you guys over. Um, so I have my paint bucket right next to me so that 
I'm going to do this. Now, I'm going to filter, and you know what? If it mixes, it mixes, it's fine. Um, because it's, it's just gonna mix into the thing anyway, in the painting. So I'm basically, because it's the Bray Reese, it's the heavy body acrylic, I know I have chunks. So why am I pouring through into the cup through the through the thing because I don't want chunks in my painting. Simple as that. And who knows, this might be make it a more interesting painting. Look how many chunks I just I'm gonna do like that. See that? Okay. Alright, now I have no idea how this is gonna look, but let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a try. kind of cool I do like the brilliance of the Bray Reese I think it's really pretty let's do some shifting slow Hmm. I see cells popping up and I did not add any dimethicone or anything to this. So what am I going to do? I'm going to play with it. I'm going to go with it. Um, it has, it has to have something to do with the density in this paint and versus the structure gel. So 
I am going to combine the two styles and have a ring pour with a, um, I guess, swipe pour. I mean, I have beautiful things happening. This, I mean, just beautiful. Did I move you guys back? No, I didn't. Oh, no. Let me move you back. Okay. So, now, I'll keep continue to work. I think I'm gonna pull out a bigger palette knife. Wow. So, guys, I'm pretty happy with this one. Um, I do want to adjust it a little bit, like pick it up and tilt it. But I'm actually going to let the paint work for a minute because there are beautiful cells here in this corner. There's gorgeous things going on over here and going off the side. There's beautiful things going on over here. And then there's beautiful, subtle things going on over there. So, um, I am going to uh, wait just a second and then I'm going to tilt a little bit more. Um, wow. I'm just floored right now. I'm very ex excited. Uh, giddy even. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Wow. The more I play at it, the more I love it. Holy. 
holy guac, guys. So, I have no idea. Um, but, <laughs> I will tell you this. Um, the more I play with this, the more I'm fairly convinced that it is the difference in structure gel density and um, acrylic paint density um, that is causing this beautiful, beautiful selling reaction. Um, it, I just, I couldn't be happier. I'm going to probably fast forward through all this, guys. Um, The more you work it though, just like in acrylic pouring, the more it messes up. Or it doesn't mess up, but it um, stops reacting. So. Like I said, I didn't want to move it too much. I just wanted to make it look uh, like it went together. And the more I look at it, the more I just want to swipe the whole thing. Because this big blue thing in the middle doesn't really go. I mean, I know a lot of you are going to say, no, don't do it, don't do it. But I really, really want to do it.
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm having so much fun right now, you guys. This is what experimenting is all about. Look at this. I mean, the selling here is amazing. The selling here is amazing. I'm going to see if I can't get a little more of that action over here. Um, wow. I'm just like really excited right now. It's going to be so pretty. Oh, I did it. Oh, so pretty. to get you guys down and look at how beautiful this is I mean wowza okay um, let me torch it first see if it has any kind of reaction to the torch And then I see some areas here and here um, that do not have any paint on them. So I'm just going to take that structure gel and pour it on. Okay, guys, I'm really happy with this. I can't tell you. <laughs> I mean, I honestly can't tell you how in the heebie-jeebies this happened. But I know it has to do with the density, the paint densities. Um, and, and one of them wasn't even paint. It was structure gel. So let's take you down and give you guys a look at what's going on on this canvas because it is gorgeous. Super excited. Look at that, you guys. And keep in mind, the structure gel will dry clear. 
So everywhere there's white, um, it's going to dry a little bit clear and mother of pearl. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. It looks so beautiful. So let's go over it just a little bit. We'll keep going down. I honestly have no idea how I did how I did this. Oh, look at those cells right there. They they are so colorful and beautiful. Moving on. I really can't wait for this to dry, you guys. I mean, look at it. I'm going to take you right down the middle because that's my favorite part. <laughs> Wowza. Alrighty, guys. Um, I guess I'm going to call this one done. Uh, if you like what I do, please give me a like, hit subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications whenever I put up new videos. I hope you guys had really fun today. I know I had tons of fun playing with these uh, different paint densities and everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this paint out of the way, and, or this painting out of the way. And I'm going to see if I can't duplicate this on some Yupos for because that would be gorgeous uh, pendants. So um, let me let me just do that real quick. I think I might be able to do it. Okay. Okay, now let's see if I can get it to do it on the Yupo. I mean, it's not really doing what I want it to do, but it's making some interesting looking things. So, I mean, why not? The structure gel does separate when you torch it. That's nice to know. Uh, yeah. I think I'll keep this one just for playing around sake. Now, let's see. Wipe off my little swiper. No swiping. You guys ever watch Dora the Explorer? I know I've mentioned that before, but 
That's all the time what I what I think of whenever I swipe. Okay. I'm just gonna squish it in there. Nope. Wash that one off. Call it a day. All right, guys. Well, that was fun. Um, like I said, I like to experiment and find new ways to do different things. And I think I found a new way to do that thing. <laughs> anyway, as always, I hope that you guys were inspired by today. If you like anything that I paint on this channel, Feel free to contact me at any time and let me know. Uh, you can contact me at chromastormarts at gmail.com. Um, also, if you ever just want to shoot me a question or an email, you're more than welcome to shoot me a little email. Anyway, I hope that you guys were inspired today and I hope you had fun. I did totally, obviously. I've probably said it like a million times. This is so much fun. Um... Anyway, please help me out by giving me a like and hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications whenever I put up new videos. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye-bye, y'all.